Memorial Coliseum on the campus of Auburn University. The first ever World Series of Powerlifting and working with me is Dr. Terry Todd, the co-director of the National Strength and Research Center himself. A former title holder and world champion and record setter. And I mean to tell you, behind us, we've got some of the heavyweights that are going to be participating in this event. And these guys are big. Yeah, they are big, Frank. We had to take them over to the vet school to even weigh them in. <laughs> they go as high as what, 340? 350. 350. Fall in, holds the world record in the squat. Weighed in 349 pounds. How about some of the others? Well, Kazmaier weighs about 325 tonight, I believe. I think Doyle Kennedy around 315. And they're all big men. Luke Iams about 330. So you've got four of the best super heavyweights in the world. They want to see who is the strongest man. A lot of the lighter weight guys are bidding for world records, too. You look for a lot of that to happen. Absolutely. There's no telling how many world records might be set here today. Little guys like uh, Gant, Lamar Gant, and uh, Joe Bradley, a newcomer, but a terrific lifter, and Chucky Dunbar, and, of course, Mike Bridges, who's considered to be perhaps the greatest pound for pound lifter in the world. 114-pound class, 112 and three-quarter pound Chuck Dunbar and his coach Luke Iams, who weighs three times as much. Set and smoke it. Come on. We're going to look here now at an earlier lift. He did 468, which is quite light for him. He's preparing now to do a world record. You can see that he has a real good chance at it. And he's fired up. 491 pound attempt. That would be four and a half times his own body weight. Really remarkable. One of the greatest squatters in the world. Very short, about four and a half feet tall. Has good leverages, of course, for this lift. Has to set up and get tight. He has to go down so that the tops of his thighs are below parallel with the ground. Chuck Dunbar from New Martinsville, West Virginia. Great. And he's got it. Fantastic. The spotter's helping back. One of many world records. White flags all over the place, and little Chuck is happy. And you can see from the side here, he has to go down so that his thighs are just a little below parallel with the ground. And he drives up and has to hold it under control. Now, take a look at the concentration on Lamar Gant, who has won more world titles in powerlifting than anyone in this competition. He's in the 123-pound class. Lamar is a fantastic lifter in the bench press and especially in the deadlift. Now, look at the arch in his back here. Yeah, people that say lifters are muscle-bound should take a look at Lamar Gant. This dramatic arch, this improves his leverage. Now, this is 320, a world record. Yet, oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. He lifted it with power to spare. 122 and three-quarter pounds is what he weighs, and he's going to try to deadlift 634. If he pulls this, this will be the greatest pound-for-pound -pound deadlift ever made, and he has done it. He did it. Look at the length of the arms. <laughs> he's happy about it. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> Lamar Gant, Amico, Denver, Colorado. Accepting congratulations and well-deserved. That's his sixth world record. There's his mother standing up and applauding for him. His sixth world record of the day. Though they're competing in different weight classes today, Gant has to be on a collision course with Joe Bradley, wouldn't you say, Terry? Yes, Lamar has won world championships in both the 123 and the 132 pound class, and so these men will have a confrontation in the future, I'm sure. Here's a reason why. Earlier today, a world record squat attempt, 573 pounds for Bradley. This is way over the world record, and you notice the power that he has. Down, parallel, and back up with a lot to spare. Absolutely a great job by Joe Bradley. Interesting background, and boy, is he psyched up. He, is he was really in ready. prison and perfected his technique there. Yes, he did. He became a world-class lifter in prison, and we heard all these huge lifts, and I'm telling you, he has shown us what he can do. Look at that. That's his fifth world record of the day. Unbelievable performance. Joe Bradley from Wisconsin. Lamar, I want to ask you something. Bradley looks like he may be one of your big competitors in future years. Yet you were out helping him, putting his belt on, and encouraging him. How, how, how about that? Uh, he has a lot of potential to come in the future and that uh, today is a day that he's going to push those records up so I'm going to re-break them. I'm ready for the summer. Uh, he's a good guy. I love him. And he needs some help today. I got to ask Joe, look, what do you think now? If you come in and you've trained two or three months and you're in good shape and he's trained two or three months and he's in good shape, who do you think will take it? I don't know. I can't, I can't really say. It'd be a good battle. I know we'll put on a good show, you know. It don't really matter, you know, to me, you know, who will take it, you know. It's just a challenge, you know. Well, you're both a fine pair of men. I want to congratulate you on your world record total and also tomorrow. Thank you.
Thank For the past two years, this man, Mike Bridges, has never lifted an official competition without creating at least one new world record. Yes, world records are just the name of the game for Mike. He comes expecting world records, and he seems to never be dissatisfied. This is a 165-pound class. This is a world record, 463. It's remarkable the control and the body power he has to lift that sort of weight weighing only 165. And really not much movement, is there? No, no, it's cheating, not at all. Just pushing it up with his arms and shoulders. Now this will, this is 650. A r should be a lightweight for him, but it'll give him a world record in the total. And he's so calm about everything. Look at that, just no problem. Down to pound, and he says the best power lifter in the world. Mike Bridges, a construction foreman from Peoria, Illinois. World records falling all over the place, and more to come when the big guys, the super heavyweights, the 300 pounders, join us. Welcome back once again to the Auburn Memorial Coliseum on the campus of Auburn University in Auburn, Alabama. World Series of Powerlifting, the super heavyweights. Getting ready in the warm-up room right now, Terry Todd. Bill Kazmaier taking around 350 pounds. Just a toy to him, of course. <laughs> the reigning super heavyweight champion of the world. Here are two of the other competitors. Yeah, the, these two guys are going to push Bill very, very hard today. Possibly, it's hard to say who's going to be able to win. Now, Tony Fitton there is putting chalk around Bill's knees to help hold their tight wraps securely in place when he gets ready to take his first attempt in the squat. A lot of characters in this sport, too, and here is one. <laughs> Absolutely. Luke Iams has no problem whatsoever getting himself fired up for a competition. In this competition, you're facing the three best super heavyweights in the world. Uh, what's going to be your strategy? Uh, I think I'm going to try to out-sub total them. In other words, the squat and the bench, and then I'll probably forget about the deadlift. Do you feel that the deadlift is an important lift, and, or do you think that it should be taken out of powerlifting? How do you feel about yeah. that, Luke? Actually, and this is the first meet I've even known they're going to do two deadlift. So I, I don't think the deadlift is all necessary. I think he's pulling your leg, Mr. Todd. Yes, he doesn't like the deadlift. He's world class in the squat, world class in the bench press, but he's not very good in the deadlift. Of course, he teases and jokes, pulls his own leg about it. But when he comes out here to squat, let me tell you, he is ready. Now this weight, quite light, just 700, a little over 700 pounds. He should be able to blow this one up. Great Luke, leverage in the lift. Oh, oh. Easy, easy, easy lift. A volcano of a man from New Martinsville, West Virginia. A mortician by trade, Luke Iams. Bill Kazmaier, 26-year-old hometown boy from Auburn, Alabama. It's Big Bill, 6'2 and a half, 325, the most dramatically built big man in the world. He's preparing now for his first attempt, 827 in the squat. He'll have two more squats. He'll have three bench presses and three deadlifts. And the best of each of those three events will make up the total, and that's how we decide who's the best man. This weight should be a toy for Bill. He's been very strong in practice. Oh, look at that. He almost jumped with the weight. Look at that far bend. Well, you wonder what the future holds for this guy. Well, it's just hard to imagine people in the sport feel that no one with this much potential has ever come along. If he can avoid injury and if he can keep training and keep his interest in the sport, there's no telling how far he can go. Now, here's a guy who may have something to say about it. No question, Doyle doesn't. Doyle wants to remain the dominant super heavyweight in the world. He doesn't do a lot of hooting and hollering like I am. Well, I, I like to keep it more on a professional appearance type, you know, the yelling and the screaming. I, I don't train that way. I, I don't believe I need to do that in competition. You, you compete the way you train and rely on your training techniques to take you through the competition. He is very quiet. He... He does his psychological preparation internally. He's Some, also the lightweight of our super heavyweights at 306. <laughs> yes, he's not as big as the other men, although you'd have to say that at about 5, 10, or 11 and 306, he's a pretty big man. He's an elk hunter. He works out in Salem, Oregon. Now, this is 849. This should be a weight that he handles with ease, and he does. No question. Fine lift. Squat one of his better lifts? Yes, he's good in all the lifts, but the squat is one of his finest. Doyle Kennedy, a building maintenance supervisor from Salem, Oregon. Here's an unusual combination. Yes, now Paul Wren holds the world record in the squat. Now his wife, Barbara, is sitting there, you can see, with those cards in her hand. She is actually judging. She is an internationally 
qualified judge, and she is an honest enough woman and has that sort of reputation that she can sit even though her husband is participating in this competition. This is 860 pounds. This is his first attempt in the squat. Paul holds the world record with 954, so this is almost 100 pounds on his best, and I think he'll show you why he does hold the world record with the way he handles this one. He's a traveling evangelist from Clarksville, Tennessee, and look at the strain here. He gets the signal to squat. He goes, and he's got a very big midsection, big thighs, and he just drives up with a lot left. Beautiful lift by Paul Wren. Yeah, he's happy. <laughs> and so is she. <laughs> well done. Well, you notice he takes a full breath of air as he backs up. His lungs are full. It improves the leverage. The drum of the chest is filled, and he's much more strong in that position. He goes down. The spotters are standing by watching very closely. He pushes back up. Solidly done. He's our leader after one lift in the squat competition. We'll be back with more in a moment. You'll move at the end of the first round of the squad. Remember, each man gets three lifts in this particular competition. Looks like a three-man race. Yeah, it's not over yet by a long shot. Bill Kazmaier getting ready for his second lift. 887. He's been around this in practice lately. Now, he's never made this much in competition. Bill is a hometown boy, Auburn, Alabama, and his job is strength coach for the University of Auburn football team. Yes, he helps them out a lot in the offseason and in the in-season. It's a big advantage, of course, for these guys to have a world-class lifter help them in the actual technique of preparing for football. A lot of strength coaches now, pro football, college football. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a necessity now in football. My first year I came down, I was like 145, 150 pounds. You know, since I got into weight, pro I went up to 145 to 181 right now. I think it helped me up upper body to take on a bigger play on me. Plus, I think it helped my my speed. You know, I don't have very much speed, and if it weren't for the strength that I've acquired through the weight program here at Auburn, I don't think I'd be able to put. I lift weights quite a bit before, but it's a difference in doing it the right way, and that has really helped me a lot. It's it's also helped me a lot on the football field. It's made me more of a dominating blocker. All right, Kazmaier is ready to try 887 in the squad. That's uh, like spirits of ammonia. Yeah, spirits of ammonia, he's snorting there, getting ready. His mother and his girlfriend out there watching him. Bill really gets into it, as you can see. And the crowd into it, too. Keep in mind, he is from Auburn, so the crowd really on his side. Yes, sir. Bill thinks you really have to believe in yourself to be able to handle these big weights. Can he do it? 887. Enormous weight. Oh, look out. Look out. Oh, he's, he's, look out. he's really hurt now. I, what did he do? The thigh. Apparently, a muscle in the quadricep must have blown. Oh, he's hurt. He's in really bad pain now. That that may be an injury. Uh, there's his mother looking out, very concerned, and his girlfriend. I tell you, those spotters really better get that back controlling the weight. Let's look here again and see what happens. Now, he's going down. Everything looks under control now, but right there, right there, you can see he lost all power. Thank goodness the spotters were there. Those good men from Dothan, Alabama, helped him, and that weight could have fallen on him. Well, what does this mean now, as far as well, you think he's hard, through for the day? It's hard to say. I mean, look how much pain he's in. I got to get back. They better get some ice on that thing quickly. Boy, that that is some kind of blow to our competition Terrible. here. Bill Kazmaier, the reigning super heavyweight champion, goes down with an injury. You can only hope it's not serious. Doyle Kennedy. Of course, this now works to Kennedy's advantage. This is uh, Kennedy's 904-pound attempt in the squad, his third try. Yes, it really opens things up for Doyle. Just Bill was considered the greater threat to Doyle being able to win this competition. Now, Doyle is 306. He's a little lighter. But now, with this 904, this would put him in an excellent position against Paul Wren. So very possible Bill may be out of this thing. We won't know yet for a while. 904, he sets up. And he's struggling. Notice how much the bar is bending and shaking. He gets the signal to squat from the referee. The spotters, you see how important they are now. You see how close they are. He's not going to make it. Too much weight for him. Too much weight. He missed it on a second attempt. He really needed to bend. This puts him in trouble against Paul Wren. Big trouble. Of course, the big question is whether or not Bill Kazmaier can come back. Let's find out. Well, big guy, you went down out there. What happened? Gee, I don't know. The weight was seemed real light, but quadriceps just gave out. 
you got ice on it. Is, uh, you think it's going to let you continue? Well, it's... Listen Memorial Coliseum on the campus of Auburn University. The first ever World Series of powerlifting and working with me is Dr. Terry Todd, the co-director of the National Strength and Research Center himself, a former title holder and world champion and record setter. And I mean to tell you behind us, we've got some of the heavyweights that are going to be participating in this event, and these guys are big. Yeah, they are big, Frank. We had to take them over to the vet school to even weigh them in. <laughs> They go as high as what, 340? 350. 350. Fall in, holds the world record in the squat. Weighed in 349 pounds. How about some of the others? You get tight, he has to go down so that the tops of his thighs are below parallel with the ground. Chuck Dunbar from New Martinsville, West Virginia. Great. He's got him tested. The spotter shuffling back. One of many world records. White flags all over the place, and little Chuck is happy. You can see from the side here, he has to go down so that his thighs are just a little below parallel with the ground. He drives up and has to hold it under control. Now, take a look at the concentration on Lamar Gant, who has won more world titles in powerlifting than anyone in this competition. He's in the 123-pound class. Lamar is a fantastic lifter in the bench press and especially in the deadlift. Now, look at the arch in his back here. Yeah, people that say lifters are muscle-bound should take a look at Lamar Gant. This dramatic arch, this improves his leverage. This is 320, a world record. Yet, oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. He lifted it with power to spare. 122 and three quarter pounds is what he weighs, and he's going to try to deadlift 634. If he pulls this, this will be the greatest pound for pound deadlift ever made, and he has done it. He did it. Look at the length of the arms. <laughs> but he's happy about it. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> 114 pound class, 112 and three quarter pound Chuck Dunbar and his coach Luke Iams, who weighs three times as much. Set and smoke it. Come on. We're going to look here now at, a, at a, an earlier lift. He did 468, which is quite light for him. He's preparing now to do a world record. You can see that he has a real good chance at it. And he's fired up. 491 pound attempt. That would be four and a half times his own body weight. Really remarkable. One of the greatest squatters in the world. Very short, about four and a half feet tall. Has good leverages, of course, for this lift. Has to set up. Well, Kazmaier weighs about 325 tonight, I believe. I think Doyle County around 315. And they're all big men. Luke Iams about 330. So you've got four of the best super heavyweights in the world. They want to see who is the strongest man. Of course, a lot of the lighter weight guys are bidding for world records, too. You look for a lot of that to happen. Absolutely. There's no telling how many world records might be set here today. Little guys like uh, Gant, Lamar Gant, and uh, Joe Bradley, a newcomer, but a terrific lifter. And Chucky Dunbar, and of course Mike Bridges, who's considered to be perhaps the greatest pound-for-pound -pound lifter in the world.